The Highway Life, based on a true story. Biggs, we have very different lives, you know. I want you to have this. Biggs, I can't take this. Finish the school, Biggs. Joey, why are you so good to me? Because you're my daddy. I'll always be your daddy. And just like that, Biggs was gone. It's about to go down. Yo, 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 what's good, my highway riders? It's your boy Bolo Biggs. Welcome back to the highway life. The last two weekends and a few nights here and there, uh, I've been tying up loose ends, um, things that I, I, things that have prevented me from moving forward, things that I didn't address, paint, sanding, hiding shit, trim. Um, so this video is going to be kind of all over the place. I forgot to video a lot of it. Um, so I'll just show you the results, which I don't like doing. I like, you know, showing how it's done. Um, but let's just jump right in. What I'm going to do first is go ahead and do that panel for the bottom of the electrical area. That's where the electrical box is going to go. I'm going to bring it down to about right here and out at maybe a quarter to a half an inch past this lip so that it has a cover for that box area. I had originally wanted to put it in one of these pockets but it protrudes out the back too much and um, I would have a tough time getting new wires um, into the um, the box. The boards are ready to go on um, this particular partition. That board is done. I did do this one in one piece. So basically I cut out the, um, the board and then I fastened the um, beaded board to it so that it comes out as one section. Um, I'm gonna have a gap, oh, say about an inch, so that this covers it. So I can staple my electrical um, wires to, cables to that when it goes into the breaker box. Um, but before I put my um, cover on, I need to spray foam some of these areas, the gaps and so on in the back if you can see some a little bit of light this is a dead pocket i may i may put an outlet here but i'm definitely going to put an outlet here for the tv uh 12 volts and a 110 system only prep work i did for that i i, I put this on not so much for um to control the ooze but to control cleanup because i am you know Gonna have to do a little bit of cleanup and shaving on that spray foam. Same thing on this side. And I'm just gonna tuck my bottle in there with my straw. Start from the back and slowly back up. There you go. So that's good. I can't get in there, but here. And then just come out. Should have got up in there a little bit. All right, I'm gonna put the camera down and finish this up. It's got some oozing out, which is great because it'll cover up all the gaps. So once this board co covers this in the pockets, you won't be able to see the bottom piece, um, but you will be able to see the side. I need to sand down this le this ledge. I don't want to be able to stick my hand in there and catch a splinter. So I want this smooth as a baby's butt. But for the sides, I've decided um, instead of just painting them, I'm going to use leftover beaded boards, which I have plenty of. And when you look into the pocket, you'll see that over here for the TV compartment area, um, one on each side. You won't be able to see this or that, so sand it down, paint it, paint it. Um, this is a different project. Um, that won't get those boards because I'm actually going to use a trim piece. Um, her desk pocket will get one. I'm sorry, one on each side. The bottom one don't, doesn't need it because you won't actually see it. The paint should help make it last longer um, as far as durability, as far as like scratching and things like that. I'm, I'm more worried about splinters and things, um, but I'm gonna sand it, sand, it, sand it down as smooth as I can. Uh, beaded board trims are in. Um, it's nice and leveled even. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and hit this up with the white paint that I've been using um, throughout the bus Because once I get my board up, I won't, I'm gonna have a tough time getting my hand in those pockets to paint it 
So I'm gonna just go ahead and hit that now. Two coats of paint on the cavities of my pockets. I also went ahead and did the two by fours, more so just to give it um, a sealed for the wood. While that is drying, I'm gonna go ahead and address this wall for my bedroom, which has the window. Originally, I had wanted to do like a pocket window um, where this slides up on like a little pulley system, which will also give me access to my hidden compartments. Um, not hidden, but storage. Um, I've decided against that. I'm just gonna do one board because anything I put in here, whether it be a fridge or storage or cabinets or whatever, it's always gonna be, that's always gonna be in the way. Um, so that's why I've eliminated it. I do my clothes off from the other side uh, to close off that window if and when I need to. By closing this wall off, I still need access to those two compartments. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just cut a window pocket on the other side. The panel for my um, bedroom area is up. So what I'm gonna do now, I've actually drilled holes to let me know where my studs are at. And I came in about a quarter inch. So all I'm gonna do is take my uh, square and draw my cutout. I had to go to my smaller square. So all I did was find out which one of my holes was the highest, square it off from there. Then use that line to square off the side, not to pass the bottom of my last hole. Um, this was pretty much on spot. Same thing on the other side. Go ahead and just drill a hole so I can get, fit my jigsaw in there and uh, cut that window out. You don't want it too close to the line because then it might grab and you'll be over the line. I'm going to do one in each corner. Uh, I think it looks pretty good. Um, I don't know why I'm yelling. What y'all notice? That's right. The pockets aren't painted. I've created a little bit of problem for myself. Anyways, I'm going to get that vacuumed out, wiped down, and uh, hit it with some paint. Y'all don't need to see that. Oh, and I hit the board with the sander just along the lines. So when I stick my hand in there, yes, you know, no splinters. Uh, while I'm down here, this is actually a good time to show you. So my trunk, well, excuse me, my garage area, if you look closely, I've actually packed all the way around it. Um, so it'll keep the little critters out, you know, ants, spiders, and things like that uh, from nesting up um, and dust and maybe moisture, I don't know. But it's exposed, why not, right? pretty easy to do really so any lines just cack it all right that's complete um i had to bust out the lamp for you guys so my bedroom window um these board that i'm using as trim covers the entire window from front to back and then the side pieces also um basically like a window sill um it's kind of snug right now because it is a tight fit this side is ready for panel. Um, paint it what I need to paint. Um, that's going to be part of the garage area, so I'm not too concerned about that. Here's another look at the front side. So once I put those boards in, I can do a trim around it just like that. But this piece here, the three inch, and these other borders are one inch. Because I have no idea what I'm going to use this for. Um, Again, it's so nothing falls out. I think it kind of gives it a little bit of character, kind of cute, kind of whatever. Um, kind of looks like a window almost. Same thing on this side. However, that it that will be my spice rack because the kitchen's here. I have to remove the kitchen again. Um, but yeah, I, I think it's kind of cool. My recycled trash bag, Wally's, Home Depot bags, and so on. Throw it in a minute, it falls out there. One of the things that I did on the entire bus, I went around the floor edges and the seams where my board connect, and I used CAC um, to give it a clean look, um, but also um, so I don't get trapped any dirt and debris and things in little critters. I will have to uh, paint all these um, boards, so it's not a big deal. As you can see, all the way around the bus. Same thing on this side. So, anywhere there's an edge, 
I went ahead and hit it my entryway to the bedroom and the back side of course the front again more cac along the bottom this is a lot of tedious work but I had to do it cock the seam there underneath I didn't do this outside yet because I'm gonna do it in black cac <laughs> um, is the wall behind the driver's seat same concept with the window pocket trim uh, I did do CAC around that also. Once I paint it, it'll blend right in. The cover underneath the electrical, where the electrical panel is gonna go, um, is somewhat in place. So let me show you Joey Small's area. Um, get a better look here. So that there is a footrest. I came off the front wall, I think mm, nine inches off the wall. Uh, I built it with two by three leftovers that I had. I've just kind of recycled it. Um, it comes up 12 inches or 11 and a half. I originally was going to put legs under there, but it kind of took away from space. Um, it's strong as heck, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, I took it right to the wall, um, utilizing every amount of space I can. So once I paint that area in there, I can put my board on board on I originally wanted to put the door on top or on the bottom um, but being that it's a footrest she's gonna tear the hell out of it and it's gonna get worn down too much I may end up using a diamond plate and angling off so that she can use it as a footrest uh, I'm sorry so where her feet can go and then I'll do the door up here um, not ideal but it's storage I'm not too worried about it um, I just didn't want to get messed up if I put it on top. Her desk. Um, it's not going to be a floating desk. But I can't do the legs for him. Um, until I finish her footrest. Um, I won't be going straight up and down. I will be doing it at a diagonal. Um, I guess it's a 45 degrees. I can't think off the top of my head right now. Um, that way she can get as much room as possible. Um, once this is closed off, her storage for her desk, that entire slant will get a board. So that whole compartment in there will be storage also. But there will be a board in here so that she can place her laptop. I've come off 12 inches from the front and I took it all the way to the windowsill. But I can't go higher than the windowsill because if I have issues, I can't take my windowsill apart. Her laptop does fit in there. I had to do an adjustment to my TV area. Um, so the swing arm for the TV, I originally was going to have it there, but it didn't leave much room for the TV. It's going to be like a, I think it was like a 19 or 22 inch I had previously. Uh, 12 volts, but it also works as at a uh, regular uh, household power. So that is staggered a little bit because once you put this on, when it's laid flat like that, that square piece there center, centers the TV off. So obviously if I center this, my TV will be in the corner. Then when I get all that stuff done, I can put this wall in and this wall will have a lip also so that I can remote or whatever as storage. Um, I decided not to put the electrical panel, excuse me, the electrical outlet up there um, because if Joey needed it, I'd have wires all over the place. So what I'm going to do is tuck it behind there and go down and put a box there for her. 12 volts and 110. Oh, wee. That's a spicy wire. I told y'all it was going to be a shitty video. It was more ca me catching up um, off camera and just showing you what I did. But anyways, hopefully this week I can finish Joey Small's desk. Just panning that off in a foot rest area. Um, hitting everything up with paint. Oh, and these two panels in the back here. Um, but on my next episode, what I'm shooting for is to show you guys how I do my dining room table. Um, you're like, but Biggs, where are you going to put your dining room table? You have no room left. You got a, you got a small lick the window bus. I got a surprise for y'all. Just stay tuned. Anyways, be good. Be good to each other. Your boy Big loves you. I'll see y'all on the flip side. Deuces. Psst. And thanks for watching.